Art and Innovation in Education Over the years, art and innovation have been on the rise. With this in mind, it has brought about the need to understand and comprehend how this applies in the field of education, with the expanding usage of educational technology tools in the classroom. This classroom study aimed to see how technology-based art instruction in middle school art classes affected student motivation, understanding, and art production. Therefore, with art and innovation, results show that when there are technology-based lessons, they can be used to improve student motivation and help pupils learn new information more effectively. In addition, students were shown to be more interested in the art process, worked more autonomously, and produced more meaningful art creations with higher motivation and knowledge. Hence it is important to see how art and innovation have played a vital role in the improvement of the way students learn and can be used to achieve the intended goals and objectives of how art history influenced modern-day innovations. The growth of technology has fueled innovation, and technology in education has been integrated into the way teachers and students interact. The lessons have to be planned in a manner that leverages a wide range of resources. This teaching transforms the way the students work, impart, participate in friendly exercises, and have a good time. They are all together affecting economies and networks. They likewise support advancement in an assortment of fields. The populace's degree of computerized abilities altogether affects innovation's imaginative capacity. It is nothing unexpected that there is a huge connection between training and abilities and the reception and utilization of computerized advances in various regions. The importance of schooling and abilities in encouraging advancement could not possibly be more helpful. From what has been seen so far, art and innovation are supported to cause a qualitative expansion in the educational industry. These improvements are required to enhance efficacy while additionally working on the quality and value of instructive contributions. Notwithstanding the way that training is not a change loath area, with changes previously happening in study halls, it has not had the option to outfit innovation to upgrade efficiency, further develop proficiency, work on quality, and make value in the very way that other public areas have. Concurrently, education may stimulate innovation and creativity among students. When a student looks at artwork from a long ago, they can make connections, which are helpful to them as they learn and, at the same time, challenge themselves to do better. Consequently, it leads to increased degrees of schooling and expanded utilization of advanced gadgets and the internet proposes that training includes the reception of computerized creativity. It has significant ramifications for the capacity of instruction and furnishing individuals with the abilities they need to exploit innovation. Accordingly, the computerized partition has developed into an abilities hole between the people who have and the individuals who do not. For the individuals who have them, computerized abilities give an extensive return concerning work, pay, and other cultural results, however, they make obstacles to further developed life opportunities for other people who fail. To comprehend this better, the example of pharmacies now and then will be used. Using arts such as paintings, in hospitals clearly shows how changes have taken place over the years. As it is well known, art is a vital part of history and can be used to pass information from one generation to another. What was being conducted long ago influences what is being done in the modern day. Even with innovation, the changes and in influence to be possible require interactions between the systems in place and their existing environments. Hence, when learning about art and innovation, the students can make in-depth connections between historical and modern-day pharmaceutical advancements, which include the methods of treatment and the options available. Additionally, this is seen in the way medicine was being packaged now and back then. They used jars to store medicines, while now they use bottles and small containers to store tablets. Art and innovation in education are quite essential. So far, the history of digital technology innovation in education has been characterized by unfulfilled promises, naive assumptions, and ineffectual strategies. Evidence can demonstrate that implementing digital technologies in schools has not resulted in the promised increased efficiency through better results at a reduced cost. Seems that everyone can realize how everyday objects can be linked to art history and recognize the art in ordinary objects and how the art of many forms and eras influences our daily lives. Despite the numerous hurdles associated with incorporating technology into teaching and learning, 
digital technology provides tremendous educational prospects. Technology is employed in many classrooms throughout the world to improve effective teaching and student engagement. Generally, digital teaching in the form of art presentations can enhance the cooperation of students besides improving their creativity.